A report by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes revealed that in Africa and Latin America, people under the age of 35 represent the majority of people being treated for drug use disorders. This is part of the statistics found in the 2022 drug reports by the UN agency. Due to this, Nigeria's First Lady Aisha Buhari is urging all stakeholders to positively contribute their quota to the national drug control efforts. Emi Balogun reports on this. UNODC report also estimates that around 284 million people aged between 15 and 64 years used drugs globally in 2020. This is a 26% increase from the previous decade. It also shows that young people are using more drugs with usage levels in many countries higher than the previous generation. This two-day workshop on drug prevention, treatment and care training for the wives of governors is designed to enhance their capacities to implement evidence-based drug prevention education programs. It will also enhance the visibility of treatment of care for those with substance use disorder and facilitate their reintegration into society. Our country presently has some alarming drug statistics. For example, we are a major cannabis cultivating and consuming country. Four years ago, we had 10.6 million users of this psychoactive plant, which made Nigeria the world's leading cannabis consuming country. Nigeria's first lady is represented by the wife of the vice president. She says states need to give priority to the existence of state drug control committees. It is pertinent, therefore, to propose to the states to give priority attention to the existence of state drug control committee and ensure the committee aligns its programs to the NDC MP 2021 to 2025. The UNODC uses this time to urge the government to consider the urgent need to conduct a second national drug use survey due to the growing youthful population in the country. Our data now dates back to 2017, 2018. It's becoming quickly outdated. And Nigeria's youthful population and its dynamism poses specific vulnerabilities, and we need this data in order to understand better. The United Nations says although some progress has been made, but more needs to be done through exposing children to skills that will help in dealing with the challenge of drug use and abuse. It is also pushing for an inclusion of counseling services at the primary health care level. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.